One of the coolest ones, I guess. According to this panel, we could design a bicycle with a smaller wheel in the front to give us a constant downhill. Therefore, the bicycle would go on and on forever, supposedly. Yeah, it doesn't work. But I'm just trying to figure out how these guys come up with such ideas. Let's break it down. On a real downhill, a wheel or a ball will go down on its own because of gravity and its shape. This isn't a downhill, it's just a differently shaped bike on a flat ground where the sum of forces equals zero. So nothing will happen unless you pedal and work up those legs. And actually, I figure it's much more difficult to go around with such a bike. When the front wheel is significantly smaller, the center of gravity shifts forward, making steering awkward and more difficult. Motion in this case has nothing to do with the bicycle's shape. It is about the ground and gravity, unless of course you are on a magnetic hill also known as a gravity hill, which are names for certain locations where gravity seems to behave strangely, or does it? Spook Hill in Lake Wales, Florida is a famous example. It looks like an uphill or a downhill, depending from where you look at it, but I like what you might expect. When you park your car at the bottom of what seems to be an uphill and put it in neutral, the car will actually roll up by itself and instead of going down, although it might look like a glitch that wasn't patched yet. But the explanation behind that is simple because see, it's an optical illusion, a naturally occurring one I might add because as far as I know, no one went there and messed with the road. The surrounding landscape creates a false horizon line, making a slight downhill slope appear uphill. When the car seems to defy gravity, it actually is just rolling down a hill. A similar effect occurs at the mystery spot in Santa Cruz, California, where a house was intentionally built at a 20 degrees angle. In the mystery spot, balls appear to roll uphill, and people seem to be able to lean farther than normally possible without falling down. This is not a glitch in the matrix, it's simply an illusion stemming from how our brains process visual information about slopes and horizons. Our perception of reality can easily be tricked when the usual visual cues we rely on are manipulated or obscured.